Hey guys, it's Hummingbird, and I am going for take two of this video because I just accidentally X out of my webcam uh, on my touchscreen, so that was super great. Um, but anyway, as you may or may not be able to tell, uh, the room that I'm in looks a little bit different from the room that I have been filming in previously, and that is because I moved today. Uh, I had mentioned in one or two of my videos that there was kind of a housing issue with, um, just some financial stuff and, you know, usual, uh, red tape kind of BS, um, that we had to figure out. Um, so I have switched rooms and I am now living, uh, with a friend of mine, uh, down the hall from where I was before. And that's super cool. Uh, you may be able to tell she likes Supernatural. I also like Supernatural, but I've only seen through, like, episode five of season three, so... You know, I've got a little bit of catching up to do there. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I had also mentioned in my other videos that I wasn't going to be decorating for Samhain until after I moved. And since I moved, uh, I decorated for Samhain. And uh, my roommate helped me with that. It was uh, a really fun, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes this afternoon after I got everything settled. So I'm just going to take you guys on a quick tour of my Samhain decorations. Uh -huh. Alright, so I have a whole ton of these- whoopsie. Webcam. Walking with a webcam. There we go. Alright, so I have a whole ton of these, um... I don't even know what you would call them. They're like paper cutouts of, um, there's like a witch and some ghosts. Um, there's all kinds of stuff around the room. Like there's a skeleton key. Um, we have a couple of different ravens, different places. Um... The two, like, black-looking pumpkins are also paper cutouts. The orange glittery ones and the bats are, um, some of the wall decals that I was showing off in my Samhain mini haul the other day. Uh, my mom just sent those to me. So, we put those up, and they're super awesome. Um, I'm just gonna rotate around this way. That's my roommate's side of the space over there. Um... This pumpkin isn't really on display yet. It's plastic, and you're supposed to be able to carve it and have, like, you know, your very own permanent jack-o'-lantern that's not gonna rot in a couple of weeks. Um, so you can see where I tried carving it last year, and... Excuse me. Uh, it just was not working. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is I think I'm going to paint it. Um, and I haven't decided with what exactly yet, but I might be looking at that this weekend if I don't have... A bunch of other things to take care of. Um, and I will just go ahead and rotate this way. So over here you can see I have like a, a moon and some bats, which actually the moon is very appropriate considering that we just had our um, blood moon eclipse the other day. So that's uh, kind of funny actually that that's up there. Uh, coming over here to my desk. Let's see, maybe we can set this on my chair. There we go. Um, this is kind of a fun glittery garland. It's got like little purple bats um, with like a black kind of floofy stuff. Um, oh, and incidentally, this candelabra that I bought on Sunday and showed you guys, um, well, I hadn't realized it at the time, but then this morning when I was... Um, getting out, like, empty cardboard boxes to carry stuff over to my new room in, I found that the one the candelabra had came in actually had stuff in one of the things that I thought was just packing material. So these little cups, they, they look kind of like little flowers um, when they've got little crystals hanging off of them. Those little cups actually sit right on top of the candle holder like that, and you guys, I thought that thing looked great before, but wow, I just, I really love that. So, that's kind of my addition there. Um, and then let's see, we've got a moth and also some Halloween cards on the door. Uh, up there above the bathroom door we have a bat swooping down to get it, and my cherry blossom wall decals aren't exactly festive, but they are pretty, so I am leaving those up. Um, the trick-or-treat is also a wall decal, as are the bats, the skull and the raven, or some more of the paper cutouts. Um, this here, kind of in the, the middle of my room, is actually my altar now, which is a lot nicer than having it on my fridge, because the fridge was tiny, for starters. 
Um, so this gives me a lot more space to work on it, and my roommate seemed really relaxed about all that, so uh, I do have it kind of decorated for Samhain, and I will probably do a different tour of that later um, to talk more about it in depth. We've got a raven up there, and there are a couple of these little, oopsie, little glittery rats that uh, we've just put around kind of random places along the floor. We have a health and safety inspection tomorrow morning, and we thought it would be really funny to freak out the RAs with fake rats on the floor. So that's what we're doing. Um, oh, and then I have to show you guys this. Uh, well, my roommate does not have her bed lofted, but I had an extra loft kit from the beginning of the school year, so she's borrowing it to put kind of a canopy over her bed, which is fun. But we hung these cool skeletons that my mom sent me off of it. Um, if I had the thriller dance memorized, I probably would have tried to make them do the thriller dance. I did try to make them do the Macarena here at the end, but there's only so many different ways you can pose them, so, you know, that didn't exactly work. But anyway, it's just kind of a really fun little garland. Um, let's see, and this is her dresser, but she's borrowing, oopsie, one of my little black LED tea lights and also my little felted pumpkin to add some spookiness to her side of the room, and also... I don't know if you guys can see them up there with the lighting, but there she has a string of Halloween lights across over the window, and those light up purple when they're plugged in. She just happened to have those, so that's really fun. Um, and she likes Supernatural, as you may be able to tell. And we're back around to the beginning. So, oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot. Look at this, guys, if I can tilt it. We have a little tiny paper chandelier. That hangs from the ceiling, so that's also fun. Um, yeah. So that's just a tour of my Samhain decorations, as they currently are. Um, if I add more to them as the season goes on, then I will keep you guys up to date, but that's where it's at for the time being. So, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye!